All right, I thought I would just make this uh, quick little video on envelope budgeting, the method that, that I use. There's a couple of different ways you can use envelopes, but I honestly believe this is the simplest way. So I'm just going to go through the categories, and then if, uh, if you like them, you can mimic it, or you can add to it or whatever, but... The categories that I'm about to show you will cover probably 90% of a, a basic family's needs. All right, so the first thing, actually, the first thing, <laughs> tithe and taxes. Can't have one without the other, it seems like. So... The first thing that we do is we take 10% off of every paycheck and we pay, of course, goes to our church and we usually use our credit card for that and then because we have money allocated in my bank account, I can just use my RBC app, bam, done. Taxes. I take a percentage out, I believe it's between 10 and 15 percent, and I, I know typically you spend 20 to 30 percent of your income on taxes, but because I'm in a lower tax bracket, I make about 50 to 52 thousand dollars a year, and I have a pretty good accountant. So I set aside 10-15% of my taxes and then what I do is I do everything I can to write off as much as I can so that my taxes end up being about 10-15% of my total. If that makes sense to you because if you don't do it you could end up paying 30-40% taxes in Canada anyway. I'm not sure what it is in the United States but that's what I do. Um, and then if I need a little bit more, that's fine, but uh, that's what's been working out over the past couple of years. So I just, I budget 10%, 10-15% for my taxes, and then I try and write off everything I can to get it down to that so that I just pay the government. They don't owe me money, I don't owe them money, and I'm not lending them my money. So I'm not taking off a percentage um off of my checks or any of that kind of stuff because I'm an independent contractor so I get paid the full amount and then I just I just uh, take my own taxes off if that makes sense to you all right so that's tithe and taxes next thing groceries uh, Jordan Page figured out that it, the average person spends about a hundred dollars on groceries a month could be more, could be less, depending where you are, but that seems to be pretty typical. Uh, my son's in Europe right now, so our grocery bill will go down a bit. Uh, right now, for this month, we'll probably spend around $500. Seems to be the average five to 600 depending what we're doing. Um, but that's what I allocate for that. Then gross, and then gas. Gas has gone up. It used to cost me fifty dollars a week to fill up my tank. Now it's a little bit higher than that. And this is Canadian, of course. Everything, uh, all our gas is in liters. It's not gallons. Uh, but we pay about a dollar twenty-two a liter. I remember when it used to be fifty cents, forty cents a liter. Just crazy. And when I lived in the States, oh man, I'm trying to remember, I think it was $1.17 a gallon. Now, I could be wrong. That was a while ago. I, we used to live in Minnesota for a year, but I can't remember, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, so we put $60 every week for that. And this $500 is every week, just so you know. I'm breaking this down into weekly. Blow money. For me, $50 seems to work out pretty good because I like to buy coffee from Tim Hortons. Sometimes I eat out as well. That works out pretty good. And for that, I typically carry cash because I find that easier than using my credit card. So I, 
I don't know, for some reason, psychologically, it just works better to keep within my budget. Same thing with my wife, $50 for her. And then clothing, about $100 for us, depending, like we're going to be going on holidays uh, in August. So um, it's going to be about $100 every single paycheck will go into clothing because we might want to buy something before we take off to Seattle. Vehicle maintenance. This is one thing that uh, hit me pretty good last year. Uh, seemed like my daughter, hey, Ollie, do you mind? Ollie, hey, hey, do you mind? I'm trying to do a video here. Of course, he's got to find the squeaky toy. Uh, so yeah, last year, vehicle maintenance hit us because I had to do my son's brakes. I did my brakes. Uh, I had to rotate my daughter's wheels, get them aligned, all that kind of stuff. So, but because we were putting 50 bucks every single, single paycheck, it was easy. I'm just going to take this toy away. Here, hey, hey, give me this. Give me this thing. You could play with this instead. Look at that. You got a nice ball. You got that bone. I like to stay by the fireplace. So I'm just going to put this here for now. Of course, he only plays with that when I'm making a video. All right, so next category. So vehicle maintenance, home furniture, miscellaneous. So anything regarding furniture could be kitchen stuff like plates dishes whatever you want uh cups cutlery you know furniture buying new chairs coffee tables whatever it is that kind of stuff so that's what we put in there could also be cleaning supplies too not opposed to that uh entertainment eating out we allocate about oh uh, we put fifty dollars for that and fifty dollars for vehicle maintenance Entertainment, eating out, $200 a week, we figure. So we like to go out to a nice restaurant once a week. It's kind of a date night, usually on a Friday or a Saturday. Sometimes what we'll do is we'll, we'll go out for dinner and then we'll go watch a movie. Yesterday we actually watched Ocean's 8. Great show, by the way. Uh, Sandra Bullock, uh, Anne Hathaway, Kate Blanchett, all these ladies. It was actually pretty good. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Uh, all right, anyways. Nails, barber salon. So this is uh, basically uh, my wife and myself, we combine this. She typically spends about $100 a month on her nails and hair. So nails is usually $50. I think it's every month and then the rest of it goes towards the salon which is probably every two months and then uh, for me probably every four to six weeks I'll go to the barber shop and that's about $35 and then savings I'll talk about this one after but we are trying to get our same savings uh, back up to ten thousand dollars. So that's what we like to keep it at. Typically, you're supposed to have about. It's also could be called an emergency fund. Typically, uh, Dave Ramsey says you should have about three to six months uh, stashed aside for your savings or your emergency fund. So right now we're we almost have three months worth. And then vacation, because we're going to Seattle, we're putting money into our vacation envelope. And that's coming up in August. And then in September, we also want to go to Silverwood in Idaho, take the whole family, take the kids. I call them kids, even though they're adults. But um, So I'm going to be helping them budget as well, because uh, they're, they're starting to get into the envelope budgeting idea as well, because they see it works for us. Hey, how in the world do you get another squeaky toy? He found another one. 
That one's not as bad, I guess. Okay, I gotta wrap this up. We're almost at 10 minutes here. Okay, this is one that's a little bit different. It's called the Venture. So for business opportunities, ideas, that kind of stuff. Typically what I do is I put $50 in here and that's for books. I buy books. Ollie, really? <clears throat> Let me grab this one too. Please. Give me this. I'll play with you after, I promise. Promise. After the video, we're playing. All right. We have a ton of squeaker toys here pretty soon. Okay, so venture. So yesterday I bought a book. Uh, it was called Dave and Goliath by Malcolm Gladwell. I just finished reading uh, Outliers. And I've been trying to read a book every day. That's not working for me. So typically it takes me two to three days to read a book. I've read about 12 to 15 books in the past eight weeks. So a little bit over a book a week. So I love reading. Anyways, that's another video. And then miscellaneous. This is anything that you can't think of in these categories. So miscellaneous for us right now could be um, pet insurance. We don't subscribe to pet insurance, but what I do is I put away $50 every single month because I know that's going to come up. we got to get these guys' teeth checked, all that kind of stuff. So we've had Ollie now for almost a year, and we figured out that pet insurance will typically cost you about $50 a month. So that's what we're putting aside. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to comment or... Um, subscribe to this channel envelope budgeting method uh, I actually got the unique URL on my YouTube channel now because I believe I hit 10,000 views which is awesome and then they allow you to actually uh, choose the name of your channel so it's envelope budgeting and I have to stop recording because my phone is getting full so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel